Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of XL TV coming to you from South Africa. Winter is setting in and what a perfect time to check out some waves here in Africa. We've been checking out amazing surf footage here with kids that will be ripping it up and also taking a look at how to be amped for life. We're going to be hanging out behind the scenes with some of South Africa's top young surfers. But before we go there, to get you guys in the extreme life mood, check out this crazy action. Hey everyone, we're back here for XL TV Sports with a Message and what an amazing show we're having cruising around South Africa checking out some surf. Today we're taking a look at how we can be amped in life. What better way than hanging out with some kids that surf in South Africa. Right now we're with Nathan, one of the up and coming water boys. Nathan, how old are you and how long have you been surfing for? I'm 12 years old. I'm from Maui. We lived there for five years and I've been surfing for surfing for 10 years. Now, what's your favorite surf place in the whole world? I like Honolulu Bay, that's my top favorite, and also Lanya Poker, which is one of the smaller waves. Now, what's it like, the difference between surfing in Hawaii compared to where we are now, South Africa? The difference between surfing in Hawaii and surfing in South Africa is that Hawaii, is the water is much warmer and there's lots of reef there. Whereas here, there's more beach breaks. My favorite surf spot in South Africa has to be probably St. Francis uh, by Seal Point. It's one of the nicest waves I've surfed in South Africa. We're here in South Africa right now and the water's a lot cooler, big sharks swimming around, but it's still a great place for surfing. And we hang out with kids that are ripping here in South Africa. Now, Nathan, what kind of surfing do you do? Do you do short boarding and long boarding? What? I mostly do paddle boarding, long boarding and short boarding. So I mix them all up. <laughs> well, the difference between long boarding and short boarding is that short boarding is a little bit more hyped up and long boarding is much more slower and chill. I mostly like long boarding for competing because it's a bit more, not so hectic the vibe and it's a bit more fun. Yeah, I'm always amped to surf whatever the conditions are. Now Nathan, you do some paddle boarding, you do downwinding, do you have to have endurance when you do that? Yeah, with those kind of water sports you actually have to have a lot of stamina and endurance to do those kind of racing and all that. <laughs> That's great, what's it like being out there, you're out in the middle of nowhere on a downwind board, what's that like? It's a little bit scary at first, but then when you get into it, you actually get used to it with all the seals and stuff swimming around you. The two key ingredients are to have endurance and determination. You have to have the endurance to try to get to the other side and the determination and know that you will get there. So Nate, if I had to ask you what's your favorite maneuver, what would the answer be? My favorite maneuver would have to be on a longboard doing a fin first takeoff. It's so exciting how you don't know if you're going to make it when the board's flipping around, but in the end, most times you do. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we are surfing in South Africa. Winter setting in. We're having an amazing show of extreme life. Hey, don't go anywhere. Don't touch that remote. We're going to be back with some more action right after this. What's up? I'm Stephen Baldwin, and you're watching Extreme Life. Peace. 